How is it about to be October? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin. If you're new here, today we are doing one of my favorite videos to make, my monthly resets. I just started doing this last month, but I really loved it. And if you guys remember, I said I was going to remind you guys to go back on that monthly reset. So I'm going to link it up here. Before we watch this video, go back to that video, see if you accomplish your goal, and comment down your goal for October on this video. And next month, I'll remind you to come back to this one to see your progress. Today, we are going to do so many things to prep for October. It's the true last day of September. October starting tomorrow at midnight. It will be October 1st. And we'll be welcoming in spooky season. I'm so excited. But to Today we are going to give a massive clean to my space. We are going to go over my budget for the month, what I'm planning on doing, my plans, um, my goals, and everything in between. I've actually never had a budget that I've stuck to, which is really irresponsible of me, but I really want to become better with my money and I don't know. I just, I feel like that's a very adult thing to do and a smart thing to do and I want to stick to it and I think that when I set my mind to something, I can stick to it, but lately I have just been spending money here and there it adds up it definitely adds up so we're gonna do a budget and I'm just really excited to do this with you guys because I feel like whenever I do these resets it just makes me feel so much more at peace and like I can accomplish so much more when I know exactly what I want to accomplish so before we get into anything let's address the elephant in the room I switch out my clothes probably around this time of year every year. I love putting away my winter clothes because then when I pull them back out it feels like I have a brand new wardrobe and I don't really need to purchase as much. So that's what we're going to do. We're switching out my closet. I'm cleaning up my room. I'm very excited. I feel like the hot weather in San Diego is pretty much gone. I'm going to leave out a few pieces that I'll pull out if it gets really hot one day randomly, but for the most part, they're going to be going up here. Let's get into it. So I've just found a lovely little friend um, in the back of my closet. That is a spider, if you can't tell, and I think I will be passing away at this moment. Um, yeah, so don't need me. I am not messing around. Okay guys, I'm done with my cleaning up of my entire apartment. I cleaned my room, put my summer clothes away, took my fall clothes out. I cleaned my living room, I did my dishes, all of the above. Last thing I need to do is let the RoboVac run, but it's kind of noisy, so I'm gonna wait until this video is done. But now I wanna sit and look at my goals from last month. Did I reach them? What's my progress on them? And then we're gonna set some new ones for this month based on my progress from last month. Number one goal. This is just so humbling to look at. I had to finish three books. Uh, I did not even start one. So I'll be honest about that. I didn't make any progress on that. I think I'm gonna make that goal this month to only finish one book, just finish the book and that's it. Um, the thing is, I'm a quick reader. I just never make time to sit down and read. So maybe my system for the goal will be to read 10 minutes before bed every day. I think that's doable for now. I probably won't get substantial reading during that time done, but it'll get me in the habit of reading and maybe I will, you know, go longer than 10 minutes at night time, but also I'll probably be more inclined to read like throughout the day. Next we move into health and fitness. I really wanted to get into a workout routine, like an exercise routine, and I did. I signed up for an at-home like dumbbell online course. I guess it's not a course, but they give you new workouts every single week. You have five workouts. I've been doing it pretty regularly. I've skipped a few days here and there, but I really want to stick on that in October. The first month was $10 and after that it's $20. So I want to make sure I'm like 
doing it because I'm paying money for it. So I, yeah, I'm really proud of myself for that one. Next, I wanted to make thoughtful decisions in my apartment. If you guys have been following along with the apartment saga, you'd know that I haven't been just buying every single thing. I have been without a rug, without a center table, like a coffee table, and without a TV console since my past roommate moved out and I'm still looking for like the perfect pieces. Everything we have in here right now is from Facebook Marketplace so we have been getting some deals here and there but I really want to find pieces that I just like really love and just really bring me joy and bring me and my roommate joy. So we're still trying to find those three things. But other than that, I feel like we've made very thoughtful purchases in here and I'm so proud of us. Finally, these are career oriented goals. I wanted to hit 15K on Instagram, 60K on YouTube, 20K on TikTok and 20,000 views per month on Pinterest. I only hit one of these goals. I didn't hit 15k on IG. I think at this moment I have like 13.8. I've actually lost a good bit of followers on Instagram, which happens. Um, I did not hit 60k on YouTube. I didn't hit 20,000 on TikTok. I think I have 14.3k on TikTok right now. Although I have all these goals, it's not like I'm heartbroken that I didn't meet them. I think really it just gives me direction to look forward to like hitting a goal. So I'm not super distraught that I didn't hit those goals. Of course I want to. So I think I'm just going to keep my goals the same for the next month. My system for that needs to, I obviously need to set a system for posting. So I think today I'll post an in-feed post and a reel, but I need to get into somewhat of a schedule like I have for YouTube, like posting every Sunday and Wednesday, but for TikTok and Instagram. I post so regularly on TikTok, so if you guys don't follow me over there, you definitely should. I've been vlogging daily over there because I wasn't filming a weekly vlog for the YouTube channel because I'm a bit behind, so I took a week off. But yeah, I just post, you know, random little bits over there. Sometimes funny, sometimes personal. So follow me on TikTok if you don't already. And that's it for my September goals. This month, I want to make a few more goals in the realm of like my finances. I want to start having saving goals for every month as well. So I'm going to add those in and we're going to talk about them after I've written them all out. Number one, I want to pay off my credit card. Whenever you have like an apartment, you know, you just are spending money. You're spending a lot of money and I want to get that back to zero because I had been in the habit of paying it off completely every single month but it's built up a little bit so i want to get that back down to zero i want to save a thousand dollars this month i want to again 15k on instagram 20k on tiktok 60k on youtube i want to get invited into the pinterest creator program i've been grinding on pinterest so if you guys don't follow me over there definitely do the thing that helps the most on pinterest is saving my pins so if you want to throw me a save i would be very appreciative and then finally, I want to stick to a workout routine and have more daily movement. I don't know if you guys know this, but every single morning, at least before I went away for the summer, I would go on like a two mile walk. Now the sun isn't rising until 6.45 and I have to get on Zoom at 7 for my part-time job. So I can't get out and go on my walk because I'm just like literally too scared to go on a walk in, in the dark. Um, so I haven't been able to go and then when it comes to the end of the day I'm just so tired and exhausted that I don't want to go out and go on a walk But I want to figure out a system for me that works where I can get on my daily walk every single day Because they're just so beneficial for me. I would love it in the morning But it might not be able to be that in the morning. Those are my goals for this month I want you guys to stop what you're doing right now and comment your goal for the month of October If you have one if you have ten if you have twenty comment comment them all. Let's get into my budget. Because I've never really tracked my spending anytime recently, 
I honestly think I did it for like one month and then I gave up on it. But because I've never done that, this first month is going to be purely me just writing down literally every money that goes in and out of my bank account. I want to get a sense of what I spend when I'm not tracking like in a normal month for the past few months, what I have been spending so that I can make a realistic goal for myself to cut back in certain areas. If you guys have ever gone like from a month not tracking to then tracking your spending and wanting to have a budget, let me know how you navigate that because I just don't, I feel like it'll be a little too restrictive for me to make a plan of like how much I want to spend going out or like stuff like that because I just simply do not know how much I spend on that stuff. So I have this Canva plan that I can add pages to and basically whenever I make money, whenever I transfer money into savings and whenever I spend money, I will track it on this little paper. This is the template that I will be using. I think it's pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. This one is in the pro version, but I think it'll be good and I can obviously copy these pages and add more if there's like need for more, which I'm definitely going to spend more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven th times this month. So I will definitely be adding more pages, but this is just going to be good for me to get a clear idea of how much I spend in what areas of life and I'm kind of excited to just know like I think financial literacy is so important and it's not taught enough um so I'm taking I'm taking my education into my own hands tune in next month if you guys want to see how I like interpret the data that I have from this month and how I set my plan for how much I'm gonna spend in November. I guess the end of the year is not the greatest time to start doing this, but I think financial planning never has like a bad time to start. I'm currently getting a video ready to be posted on Wednesday, a few days after you guys see this one. It's a fall and nighttime routine and I really want to just be more diligent about posting my videos 9 a.m. Sundays and Wednesdays every single week. So I'm going to actually plan out all of my videos for the month. I have a pretty hectic October because my friend is getting married. Um, um, what else do I have? I'm going to a Harry Styles concert. I also have Halloween with my friends that we are planning at the moment. Obviously, that stuff isn't going to happen until later in the week, but I am so excited for October. I also want you guys to comment down below what you're excited for in October um, because I just think it's always fun to have something to look forward to and i don't know it just makes life more fun you know that reminds me i need to post a reel and a photo today at some point so you know what i'm just gonna do it right now instagram photo has been posted i'm gonna create a reel to post later today of my entire month of september because it was a good one we're gonna pick out some videos that i want to film this month if you guys have any videos you want to see from me please don't hesitate to comment down, them down below on this video or literally any video. I want to do a September favorites, although I don't know if there's so much interest in that, so it might just be added into a vlog. I also am going to see my best friend get married, so I'm going to have that be a little vlog that weekend. I'm going to have a glow up routine before the wedding. So... If you like what you hear, stay tuned because there's a lot of fun things coming in October. All right, guys, I've been sitting in this spot for far too long. I think I am very prepared for the month ahead of me, and I'm excited to see what unfolds this month. I think every month, every week, every day, I'm just like so excited to see how it's going to unfold, and this month is no different. For the rest of the evening, I am going to a soccer game with my friend Ruby. I will insert a few little clips in here because a personal goal of mine is to do more social things that don't involve drinking. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have been here for a while, I went a good amount of time without drinking at this start of la of this year the end of last year and I just felt so much better about myself and now I'm in a very routine habit of drinking every weekend so I really want to do more activities with my friends that don't involve drinking um so yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that and just the rest of my night 
but I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment what your goals for October are. All right, let's get into the rest of my night. I'll see you guys next time. Also comment these emojis if you're still here. Bye.